In this section, we will be discussing arrays and objects in JavaScript. Once again, my name is Ms. Rufai and I will be walking you through this JavaScript concept. Arrays and objects are what we refer to as data structures in JavaScript. The primary function of this data structure is to hold data and to keep data for you, to manage data and to hold them until you need them. We can look at several ways in which we can handle arrays and objects. The first thing you want to know about arrays is that they are square brackets. Anywhere in JavaScript where you see a square bracket, understand 100% that it is an array. Examples of arrays are what we can see on our screen. The first one of numbers contains purely numbers. It is an array of numbers. This second one of fruits contains array of strings. The next one contains array of boolean, which we refer to as true or false. The next one is a mixture of data type. So we can say mixture, which means it has all the data type, including number, string, boolean, and object inside the same array. This is possible. This is only possible because JavaScript is a dynamically typed language. What that means is that JavaScript is flexible. It allows you to do a lot of interesting things with its data type. Finally, we can look at one more type of array, which is an array that contains other array. For example, on line 23, we can see this array, empty array, is equal to this, which implies that this array, let's say it is country, it is currently empty, which implies that there is no data inside it. But in this place, on line 24, we now have another array that has been created with this set of data. And this new set of data now contains items 1, 2, and 3. We are going to revisit each of these arrays and try to visualize them in our console. When we go to our terminal in the browser, Here we can see numbers. Numbers, when we want to visualize it, we can say console the table of numbers. This should give us this style that we have here. We can see immediately that numbers and every array have value and an index. And we can use the index to access the number. So for example, when we come back to numbers, we can say 3.142 is on index 2. So we can come here and say numbers is of 2. 
on index 2 will give us 3.142. 100 is on index 3. So, index 3, which will give us this. Now, the last index here is 3. If you try to access more than 3, like let's say 7, you are going to get undefined. This means that undefined here means that that value does not exist. Okay, so that is the first array that we want to look at. The second one we can look at is the numbered array. And we can look at fruits. Let's look at the table of fruits. So when we say console, the table of fruits. Immediately, what we will see is that apple is in index 0. Banana is in index 1. So we can say fruits of index 0 to give us what? Apple. Banana of index 1 gives us that and orange will give us index 2. We can go on on this pattern to look for truths and mixed array. When we come back to truths, it has three items inside it. So when we do a console.table for truths, we are going to see three items inside it. True, which is on index 0, false, which is on index 1, and another true, which is on index So, you can say truth, which is the name of the array, of 3, which will return undefined. Because we don't have 3 as part of the index in our array. But if we return 1, we will get false. Because false is on index 1. In this case, we have been able to look at arrays in the simplest possible term and how that helps us to understand arrays completely. The next thing we can look at is objects. What is an object? An object is a curly brace. This curly brace can be found in so many places in JavaScript or in the web. For example, when we go to our code editor, what we are going to notice is that we have several types of objects. We can see an object for a person. This person here has a couple of items. It has a first name that is John. It has a last name. It has an age on line 2 that is 30. Please note, I'm very important, an object has key value pair. Another thing you must notice is that the key does not have quote. Like in this place, we cannot say first name like this is John. That is no longer an object in JavaScript. This is no longer an object. This number two is no longer an object. So it must not have quote. When it has a quote, it is no longer an object. The moment you give it a quote, we call it a JSON, which we are going to consider very soon. This is one example of an object. And the way to access it is we can say person dot first name. Or we can say person dot age. Here in admin, we can say is admin dot is active. When we go to car, car is a bit much more complex, and we are going to consider it soon. When we go to car, we can say car dot model. This will give us the first property of that car. We can also say car dot features, but understand that this one will return under civic, and under civic in that space is a string. 
cars.features will return an array of strings. So this one will return an array. Now let's look at how we can be able to pass this in our browser. So in this place, let me duplicate this. Let's say we have this as O. We have a couple of objects. Person is admin. So in our browser here, when we reload the entire thing, it has reloaded for us. We can call person, which is an object. Now let's say console dot table of that object. When you pass in person into it, we are going to be able to visualize what it looks like internally. Immediately, we can see that person as index and value or what we refer to as what key value pair so we can say person dot first name and this will return john or person dot age and this will return 30. the second thing or the second object that we consider is is admin right so we can call is admin when you look at it is admin we say is active so we can say is admin dot is active and that should give us true the next one that we saw was cars cars is very interesting so let's look at cars when we look at the structure of cars in our console table console the table of car you will see that one thing when we do cons car dot model it gives us the value which is what on that civic but cars dot feature is an array and if you remember how we were accessing arrays for example in the arrays of numbers we were saying this here we can now say numbers of what numbers of 2 which will give us 3.142 in this same case here we can say let's first of all bring our features so we can say car dot feature which will give us an array now when we look at this array we can see that the array is split into 3 0 1 and 2 for example let's confirm that in our table and then we pass in car dot feature into it now you will see that it is in zero one two it's just like we can see here too zero one two so if you want to ask access to this sunroof here what we will say is car dot feature of one which will give us sunroof car dot feature of two which will give us power windows car or feature of zero which will give us ac note that you cannot exceed this so if you try to do car of zero or five it is going to give you undefined very good now that we have been able to see this let's now look at much more complex data type and structure let's visit a website The website is called nigerianbanks.xyz now let's first of all look at the structure of this data type at the top here at the top here at the extreme hand here on line one what we will notice is that we can see that it has it is an array on line two to line eight we can now see that it is more than just one item in the array in the array. the first object as name as property slug code ussd and logo kindly note that this data type you see here is not an object it is 
a JSON. JSON, JavaScript Object Notation. It is a standard for allowing us to transfer data from one data and computer to another computer. We call it JSON. As you can see here. All right. Now, we have so many data type in this data. For example, we can look at the logo. When we visit the page, we will see that it is the logo of Union Bank. So this data is very dated. We can see UBA, Unity Bank, VFT, Rema Bank, Zenith Bank, ETC, like that. Let's play with this data. If you come to this place, clear this place and call banks. When you call banks immediately, we are able to realize that we have 40 items inside these banks. 40 items. From 0 to 39. Now, you can see that each of these items has the objects inside them. So let's visualize this correctly. Let's say console dot table of banks. When we do that, we are able to visualize the table correctly. Now we know that we can do banks of zero, which will give us all this data. We can do banks of two till we get to 39. So let's focus on one of them. Let's say banks of three this gives us what aso savings and loans with a slug of savings code logo and an empty ussd let's try another one we can say of 18 18 is kuda bank let's try to read what we have on this 18 now we can do banks of 18. Now you will see the table. You can see that banks of 18 has key and value pair. So to get this code, we need to go through this key here. So that means we can say banks of 18 dot code. Because this is an object then it will give us this if you want the logo we can say banks of 18 dot logo and that will give us the URL and this URL when you click on the URL it is going to give you the URL of CUDA bank now we are able to see the things that we can do so many things that we can do with this data type one of the number one thing that we can do is to try to read the data for example if you visit this web page we can see the data for world flag generator and nigerian states Let's look at World Flag Generator. Generally, when you see this, you would wonder where is this flag coming from? Where are we getting this data coming from? When I click on this button, the easiest way to do that is to inspect. On inspecting, when you reduce this, you will see sources. When you go to sources, you can see country dot images let's click on that immediately we can see where our data is coming from we can see url for the name is afghanistan we can see the file url this is exactly so if i were to copy this file url it will give us the flag of afghanistan and put it here we may be able to get the flag of afghanistan right let's remove this URL from the beginning here and see if that will pop up okay so let's try to bring it back here 
if we add HTTP to the front of that data type of that URL, we may be able to get what we are looking for. Okay. Um, if we go back here and inspect our page, we may exactly see where that URL is coming from. All right. So here we can see it is the same thing as we can see from our source folder. And the, the difference is that we have added HTTP in this set here to it. But generally, when you look at this data and you look at this data and you look at this data here, we can see Algeria public domain. So this shows us how we can use this data to build a simple application. Okay, now let's go to another example here. In this place, we can see a list of Nigerian states. And when we click on one of the states, Imo state, what we are going to see is all the local government in that state. So here we have 26 LGAs in Imo state. We can see Bayelsa. We can see Adamawa. We can see Bauchi. We can see or your we can see Kaduna. so the question you may ask is where is this data coming from it is also inside a json format so when you inspect the page and you go to sources and you look at nigerian.js now from the nigerian.js you can see that you may not see the data here but if you click on this and you roam about this page here we can see it is coming from nigerian.json as you can see here nigerian.json so let's see if we may be able to find this nigerian.json in our data type here it is not here so let's open the view page scroll to the bottom and see if we can find this nigerian.json definitely we can find it it is so much that we are able to see you can see here this is abia state and these are all the local government that we can find in abia state until you get here this is oweri right this is ajaokuta right here ajaokuta so you can see that the data can become as much more complex as you want it to be so this complex data is what we have used to build this drop down that you can see in this space right so when you go to a web page and they ask you to insert or to select your country or to select your gender it is typically because the data is in an array of object format which is referred to as what json and this array of object format can be used for so many things you can see we have it here we can see we have it here and we have seen one of it in this section here so there are so many things that you can do with data types and play with it So far, we have discussed a basic introduction to arrays and objects. We are going to try to solve some problem sets with arrays and, prop and objects in the next few videos.